everyone. Today I'm going to use Project Dabble and Damu to write a chat app in under 10 minutes. Let's see how that works. Let me log into Project Dabble. Use my Google credentials. And I'm presented with the main page. Let's go ahead and create a project for my chat backend. I'm going to name it chat. And the ledger that is uh, going to store all the chat messages, let's name it chat ledger. Hit submit. And I see that my ledger is being created and deployed on the uh, cloud. Now, time to write my demo model. Switch to the terminal and use the demo SDK to create a new Skeleton project. Name it hello chat. Okay. Um, now change directory inside hello chat and launch uh, VS Code. Great. I see a skeleton app with a, a DAML folder and a DAML YAML file. Let me go ahead and um, delete this because I'm not going to need it. and uh, create a new uh, demo file from scratch. I'm going to name this file sample. And this is going to make my module named sample as well. Now this is going to have very simple. It's going to have two different demo templates. Let's create the first one. We will call it greeter. This is what a party is going to use to actually send messages to messages to other parties. Uh, let's add a demo contract key here. Let's use the party. And the maintainer is going to be the key. Now we'll give our party a controller choice to uh, say hello. And we're going to be creating contract IDs of type hello message. We obviously need to send this message to someone. So one of our arguments here is going to be uh, to have this be a party. And then we're going to say something. So let's add another field called message of type text. And we do want to uh, create um, hello message with uh, the uh, sender being the party, the recipient being the uh, two, and the message that is implied. Now, let's make this choice non-consuming so that the party can send any messages they want. And let's go ahead and define the hello message uh, template. This is going to have a sender, a recipient, it's also going to be a party, and the message. It's also going to be of type text. Now, obviously, this is going to be signed by the sender party and disclosed to the recipient through the observer keyword. Great. That's all we need. Uh, let's go ahead and compile this to a DAR file. I'm going to output this on my desktop. Name it uh, hello dar. And we're done. Switch back to Project Devil. My new ledger is ready. So I'm just going to go ahead and upload the dar that I just created. Here it is. Drag and drop it into my chat ledger. Wait a few moments. I see the notifications that it has been deployed and actually enter my new ledger um, in order to verify and check my new model. So as you can see here, this is the demo file I just wrote, and my ledger is ready to be used. Now I go to the Live Data tab. I see a ledger admin, which has two contracts. And let's go start defining the users of our chat, our chat application. I'm going to go to Add Party, and I'm going to define Alice and Bob. I just added two parties on the ledger. These parties now um, 
exist in the ledger settings as well, and they're fully authenticated with JSON Web Tokens. Great. Now let's go ahead and connect uh, a UI to this backend. I happen to have a UI code here, and all I need to do is copy paste the JSON Web Tokens for each of the parties, as well as the API path uh, for the ledger I just created. So let me go ahead and do that. So for Alice, I'm going to select Alice here, copy the token, go back to VS Code, paste that token, and do exactly the same for Bob. Great, let me save that. Last thing is uh, going to the uh, package JSON file and adding a proxy, which is going to be the API, API path for Project Dam. Thankfully, I have this also in my ledger settings, so I just copy it, paste it here, save this, and I'm all set to run my UI. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my other tab and do a yarn start. This is going to bring up a, a web server in development mode, and it's going to launch a new tab with my UI. Just waiting a few moments for this to launch and we'll be in business. OK. Looks like we're in. We're going to use Alice to log in here. And we see that Alice uh, already sees uh, the contract that's been created for her and has a Hello Messages tab and a Greeter tab. Same thing with Bob. So in order to be able to send messages, as we said, we need a greeter contract. Let's go ahead and create that in Project Dabble. Go to Project Dabble. Go to Alice. Add a contract. We're adding this as Alice. So And we're selecting the greeter template. We hit Next. And since Alice is creating that for herself, we choose Alice here. And we do have a greeter uh, contract for Alice. Let's do quickly the same for Bob. Add Bob here as well. OK, now Bob has their own greeter contract as well. Go back to our UI, hit a simple refresh, and we see now that Alice uh, is able to uh, greet uh, other people. Now, last thing we want is to send a message uh, to Bob. We see here that we're using party IDs instead of parties. So what we have to do is go and get Bob's uh, party ID in order for Alice to send them, to send them a message. I'm going to go again to Ledger Settings. Select Bob from the party ID list, click Copy, and paste it on the field of sending a message, and write, hey, Bob. Click Say Hello, and if I go to Hello Messages, I actually see that I sent a message to Bob. Now, if I log out and log back in as Bob, Bob sees his own contracts, his own greeter contract, and in Hello Messages, he sees um, Alice that has sent him a message. We can actually reply to Alice right now. So copy paste the sender, go to greeter, paste it here, and say, hey Alice. Click on say hello, and guess what? Another hello message has been created. So this is a fully functional backend, authenticated, uh, and running in Project Dabble. And all of that under 10 minutes. Thanks for watching, guys.